As I was in the central hall of parliament in the morning when Rashtrapati Draupadi Murmu was being sworn in, the moment the cameras got off, the president left, the government and the opposition, all the MPs are very cordial towards each other, talking to each other nicely, hugging each other. So a lot of this is just, you turn the camera on, we put on our punching gloves, the moment the cameras get off, uh, then everybody is just talking to each other totally normally. Sushmita Dev, is this the way it will stay? Or do you think that there could be a solution? Because we still have about a year and a half to go before the next elections. And if it continues this way, then frankly, you will keep saying that the government is not allowing for disruption, not allowing for discussions, and parliament will be meaningless. You know, Rahul, let me tell you something. You look at every procedure that is there in the parliament, and the way it is structured, it is based on the basic principles of democracy that the opposition must have the opportunity to make the government accountable and answerable. Whether it's the questionnaire, whether it's a debating on the bills, whether it's a discussion under 193 or 267 or whatever. It is about opposition asking the question and raising the issues of the people in the government who obviously has a mandate and that's why they are in government to openly reply. It is a forum for debate, discussion, disagreement. Let's, let, that, is, that, is, that is why we are a democracy. But what happens is bullying. Okay, what happens is bullying. Sometimes people who watch parliamentary procedure, it is shocking what question you ask and the standard of replies that come from the minister. I mean, it's like chalk and cheese. I mean, people who um, look at Lok Sabha proceedings and Rajya Sabha proceedings should know that. See, a government with a mandate only shows confidence when they do not indulge in delaying tactics and procrastination. When they say, if you want a debate today, we'll debate today, that's, that shows a confident government. Uh, this Aparajita comes, Sarangi, government is repeatedly 27 it. MPs, including Sushmita, they have suspended. Will you revoke these suspensions, allow for discussions to happen, or will this whole session be a washout, which is the direction which things seem headed right now? See, we are very sad, and in fact, uh, a couple of days back when the Rajya Sabha MPs had to be shown the door, uh, let me, I'm sorry I'm using this, uh, uh, this uh, statement, uh, it was said, by, my, uh, my, by Piyush Goyalji that we did it with a very heavy heart. The government would never like the MPs belonging to any political party to go out of the houses. But the fact remains that there has to be maintenance of decorum in the house and there can be no compromise with the dignity of the house. We are well aware of the fact that every minute we are losing 2.5 lakh rupees and till date almost 135 crore rupees have gone from the public exchequer. Only two bills have been passed in the Lok Sabha. Now today, wildlife protection amendment bill had to come, it could not be discussed, otherwise I think we would have got another bill passed today. So I think it is, it is combined responsibility of both the ruling party and the opposition to not just run the government but to take the nation forward. We have to actually work together and it is combined responsibility. I can never say that only the ruling party is responsible for running the parliament, the both houses of parliament. So I think uh, we would definitely like maintenance of decorum. We would definitely like uh, discussion uh, in a very good environment, very amiable environment. And uh, uh, let's talk to each other and let's sort it out. That is the only answer to the entire issue you know, that I can see. You know, with due, with due regard, ma'am, this Who is will? classic. You know, this is listening to you. I am reminded of how India has changed in a decade. A decade ago, it was Sushma Swarajji and Arun Jaitley who would say disruption is legitimate. We need to do it to bring certain issues to the public. It's important for a democracy but, to disrupt but parliament. Can't That's what the every session. No, no, that the, was the 2G scam. 2G sure. is one of the biggest scams in recent times. It can't happen day after no, no. day, session after sure. session. Rahul, my point is where you stand depends on where you sit. Today, Aparajita is in, in the government, so she's talking about a waste of time and money, which is exactly what Kamal Nath who was then parliamentary affairs minister would say about and he was in the congress at the time which was in government so where you stand depends on where you sit my point rahul is that at the end of the day we are reaching the stage where people will say why the why do we have a parliament to function 
in, in, in the manner that it is. Where are my issues being reflected in, 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 the, in the ultimate forum of democracy? So the lack of faith that the average citizen will eventually have in parliament and, and many of our MPs now are convinced that they won't win the election based on their performance in parliament. 30 years ago, 40 years ago, based on your speeches in parliament, you became a national figure like an Atal Bihari Vajpayee, Somnath Chatterjee and others. Today, it is not any, what you say, do in parliament doesn't seem to affect your electability. So most of these MPs, Rahul, today are not really concerned about how they perform but, but Jyoti Mani, inside if parliament. if you pick the odd issue, let's assume there's a big scam or corruption in the government and you go after the government, that is still understandable. Take for example the 2G issue. Here it seems to be any issue, any day, any session you will find a reason to target the government. It's very predictable. Your disruptions then completely lose their meaning. Jyoti Mani? Don't you think price rise and GST... Uh, yeah. Don't you think price rise uh, and GST is not an issue? Of course uh, it do is. Do you think we should uh, be debated and discussed, not for disruption? Not raise the issues of the price rise. When the when the Rafael scam happened, when the Rafael scam happened, we raised the Rafael scam issue. Because this happened, we raised the because this issue. Now there is an issue of price rise, uh, issue of GST. Um, uh, that is the issue of people affecting the pe common people. My 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 uh, friend from BJP is uh, talking about every day five lakhs rupees. I appreciate her the va her, um, the value of money. Uh, don't you think how how uh, how, uh, how many billions of rupees actually people are losing every day uh, due to price rise and the GST. That's what we are bringing into the notice of the government. We would like to have a discussion on the floor of the assembly. What is for the parliament? Parliament is for the discussion and debate as uh, Susmita rightly said, it, uh, disagreement. There should be a civil uh, civility in the discourse. What happened today in the parliament? You will heckle a, a 75 year old dignified graceful lady who has uh, sacrificed, uh, sacrificed everything for the country, who was behind the history historic Manarega and the for right to foot act, you will behave with her uh, like this, that too. She is reached out to Tashri Pench. She is unarmed. She is, believes you. She has respected you. She came to you. This is how you behaved with her. So this is uh, what kind of dignity and decorum we are talking about the politics. Uh, okay, the final the words, Aprajita Sarangi, so before I wrap up. MPs who are suspended MPs. She is saying take the suspensions minute, back. Uh, uh, Rahul, I, I can only say uh, that... Yeah, we are, we are the 24 MPs we suspended. Why, why don't we warrant it suspended just because it raised the people issue? This kind of shameful behavior uh, um, uh, don't warrant the suspension. We want this government to suspend the union ministers, other unruly MPs who behave uncivilized uh, manner with, uh, with the our Congress. Okay, Aparajita Sarangi, final words. The ruling, the ruling party, the government, wants to run the parliament with an open heart and an open mind, number one. Number yeah. two, we would definitely lock, not like anybody, whosoever, from the ruling party or the opposition to cross the Lakshman Rekha. We have to live within our limits. And number three, very important, the opposition party friends must realize that there is a difference between Sadak and Sansad. Sadak cannot be Sansad and Sansad cannot be Sadak. When you come to Sansad, you have to come with facts and arguments. Tathya or Tark ke saath aana padta hai. And we are all ready for any kind of discussion. Now let's see what happens tomorrow. The it's crucial because let's there has to be give, on, take, give and take on both sides. It can't be take, take from the opposition or only give, give from the government. There has to be a give and take. And only then will parliament serve any purpose. Both Rajdi and I are very perturbed and worried. If this is the way it continues, Parliament will lose all meaning. It's already lost a lot of its meaning. If this is the way it continues, it will just become a predictable reality show where you wake up and there's a disruption, nothing happens. You know, in fact, I think when I was in Parliament, a uh, couple of the ministers went in and they said, well, do minute wait, karo. Abhi adjan hoga. we'll come back and then we'll have a cup of tea. I mean, even the opposition leaders know there'll be an adjournment. Those in government know there'll be an adjournment. And it becomes a big adda session, people sitting around because they know that there will be no That's functioning the of the house. No that is completely not what India's parliament should be about.